our mates. We're down here at the beach, at Waikanae Beach here in Gisborne. We're going to go down and get some pippies today. And um, it's a beautiful day here, mate. It really, really is a eh? nice blue skies. Heaps of sun going to be here. Yeah, so we're going to waddle on down and see if we can find some pippies off the beach, eh? Here we are, my old mates. We're on the beach here. Waddling on down. Tides out. It's good. Beautiful morning here in Gisborne, mate, I'm telling you. Absolutely majestical. Bit of a walk down to the pippies, mate. But we're getting there. Oh, well, Ringy couldn't come this morning, got a bit of a headache, okay? So she's home in bed for a bit, but she does have work today. That's all cool. Beautiful, beautiful day here in Gisborne, eh? We're blessed, really. We get many, many days like this here. One of the driest places in New Zealand, I think it's Gisborne, or the east coast of New Zealand actually. See that there, that's actually a um, Pacific oyster, eh? Pacific oyster shell. Yeah. Well, we're looking for me, old mate. It's exactly this here. See that there? That's a pippy. Good Kai. Got our bucket here. We're going to put them in there. There's a few small ones here. We don't want to burglarise the little ones like this. Absolutely beautiful eating these things. These are quite small compared to yesterday's. Well, actually, this one looks like it might be empty. Look at that. He was empty, full of sand, eh? Trying to fill a bloke. There's some more ones there. Here's a better size fella. What if he's empty? Nah, he's definitely got a shelf for set fella. Me old mates, that there, you can see it or not, get it in the sun, it's called a tua tua. Okay, also beautiful eating, beautiful eating. The old Pippi seemed to be a little bit sparse this morning. But that's all good. Can't have everything good every day, we've got to Heap of them yesterday. Morning. Oh, I wonder what happened to this fella, eh? Killed in a storm or something, or something. Not a lot of pippies down here today, my old mates, but uh, there's a few. Got a couple of few in there. Yeah, we'll just keep looking. There's some real big ones around here, right? Eh? But they seem to be empty. I think the oyster cats has probably got them. That's yeah, all good. They're entitled to a pee. Here's another pippy, me old mates. What we do before we go home, we'll put water in there. Just to keep them uh, 
So they spit out the sand, put salt water in there, and they can spit out the sand, and um, so we don't have sandy uh, pippies when we eat them tonight. Here comes the tide, mate. Rocking in. Get a bit of sand off these fellas. These are only little ones. At all goods. That's a shell with a couple of oysters on top, eh? Oyster shells. Won't be anything in there. Another pippy for the bucket. Another one up there. They're getting a little bit small. But they're all good. Grows hairs on the chest, me old mate, these things. Of course, any. Oh, the wine has got to be good for you. Just pour a few here, my old mate, so I'm just going to turn you off and collect them all, and I'll come back to you. This is what I'm talking about, my old mates. Good sized pippy. I've got big hands. It need to be about three inches, three and a half inches. There's plenty around, eh? And these little fellas, they got big tongues on them, and I'll tell you what, man, they can dig pretty quick. Maybe years ago we used to get toy rolls. But, uh, it's illegal to get them now. Everybody was getting those things, old toy rolls, they're absolutely beautiful. There's a few around the joint here. Which is really good, the seagulls love them, and those oyster catchers, eh? They love them to pieces. This one looks empty to me, oh no, he's a full one, look at that, eh? Nice big fella. Another nice big fella here. Look at them, mate, eh? We've got big hands, eh? That's two pippies, wow. Whoa. Me and Ringy are going to have a good old kai tonight, mate, that's for sure. Right. I'm going to put you fellas down for a minute so you can watch what's going on and stick you in the sand. Here you go. Just move that bucket. Whoops, knocked his over. It's all good. I'll just collect them all these pippies, eh? Excellent stuff. Yeah, we're getting a bit, starting to get a few in there now. Here we are, my old mate, still getting puppies, eh? Hey? Look at these fellas here. Bought a few rare. There's only one gentleman I know who would provide us beautifully in puppies, and that's our art one. And Atua means uh, God. Okay. So for you uneducated, you've been educated. Who is Kai Moana? Fortunately, there's no um, size limit on these things. If there was, uh, nobody would be getting any. Look at the size of this fella, mate. That's my hand. My hand spans four inches. And look at the size of that fella. That's a good size puppy, that one. Just caught a few down here. Have a look. You can tell the ones that are alive and the ones that are, that are full of sand. Sometimes they fool you. There's a few around here. He just had his tongue poking out that little fuck. Shut 
shake a bit of the sand off, eh? We don't want that. Beautiful place here in Gisby, mate. Especially the coastlines and all that, eh? It really, really is. The coastlines are just beautiful. Get all these pippies here, me old cobbers. Quite a lot here. Gonna go through here and pick a few up. There's an old seagull hanging on down there. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right in view. I'll come back to you fellas shortly. Yeah, somewhere down there, someone had a fire. Yeah, it is just over there. I don't know if you can guys can see it. But it's gone out to sea and left that brown haze all over there. I don't know what they're burning. The guys out here surfing. Heaps of pippies, we've just about got our quota. Gonna grab a few more and then we'll head on back home. Still a few lie down here on the beach. Yeah, where my shadow is actually. Yeah, look at this little wee shell we got on the beach here, eh? Hope he's a bit clear for you. Quite a nice little fella. There's nothing inside it, I think whoever lived there's uh, vacated the premises, so to speak. Uh, yeah, there's a few more pippies here, my old mates. I'm going to grab these and might cut a track back to the car, eh? Yeah, back to the truck anyway. It's, uh, we don't want too many, I don't want to be too greedy, but they are nice eating. Right, oh, my old mates, we're going to head back to the truck now and uh, put our pippies. Then head back to the truck and take it, get some water on the way back because uh, we put them in salt water, the sea water, and that um, helps them spit out the sand. I'm just grabbing a few wool here, eh? The birds have been into this fella. But they're, uh, look at these nice big pimmies, eh? Look at that on my hand. I don't know how I missed these on the way down here. Maybe they've just appeared. Here we're getting a few in there. These are good size, man. These are good size pippies, eh? I've got big hands. Right, we'll see you back at the truck, my old mate. Look what we got here, my old mate. It's about four feet long, this fella. Don't know why he's here or how it happened. All the nars, I saw the seagulls eating them, eh? And no, I'm not taking it home to eat. He's been here, been here a few hours, I think. Here we go, my old mates. Look at this plastic on here, freaking beaches, eh? This is not good. This is not good. People need to learn a bit of respect because plastic does not rot. I don't mind paper so much, but plastic does not rot, eh? At all. Freaking disgraceful. We'll put that in the rubbish bin. G'day, my old mates. We're just going out in the tide here. As you can see, to get some uh, salt water in the bucket so these pippies can spit the sand out. Nothing like eating sandy pippies. Yeah. Here we go, Trevor. Wonder what's under there, eh? That's not going to get our gears on the beach. Ah, well, short. 
that eel back there, that was about, uh, it was over 48 inches long, I think. I'm going to measure it up proper when I get home. I'll do the finger span on it. There's all their little pippies there in there, doing their thing. Is that the terrible bit of rubbish we found on the beach? Right in the old mates, I'll see you back at the truck. Hey, my old mates, there you go. In the truck now, we're going to head back. We've got our water to, uh, for the pippies to spit out the sand. And, um, going to cruise on back to the fuddy, which means house, for those who don't know. And, um, have a feed of pippies, the ones we got yesterday. Oh, gee, there was heaps down here yesterday, man. So I'll catch you at home, you old mates. You can see that they're open and um, they spit sand out. I just hope you can see them pretty clear. A little bit difficult here because of the shade. But those ones there, yeah. You can see that they're actually bivalves, these things. Beautiful feed. You can just see that cockle there, which is that one. He's got his tongue out. And so is this pippy here. You can just see his tongue. Right there. Yeah, you're going to throw some in the pot shortly and just have a feed. Yeah, beautiful eating, man. Beautiful. Show me old mates, what we're doing here is um, heating up some salt water, which is out of the ocean. And we're going to put some of them fellas there, into there. And then this is heated up a bit. In fact, you can probably put a few in there. Look at the size of these jokers, mate. Boy, oh, crikey. Get salt water straight out of the ocean that they're going into. Look at these two, sort of married themselves together. And there you go. Absolutely beautiful. This is how we do them anyway. I don't know anyone else does them around here, but this is how we do them. And uh, there's a um, cockle there. That's a cockle. Told by his shape. He's just closed up on us. Mum likes those. I'll leave one of those. Leave that for her. Oh, mum too, by the way, is rangy, okay. Absolute cracker of a woman, mate. Boy, oh, crikey, you couldn't ask for better. And she's funny. Always smiling. Yeah, so that's what happens there. When they um, get a bit hot, they open up. Then we take them out and down the gurgler, mate. Oh, gee, straight into the pooking. If you want to lose weight, mate, eat fucking pippies. Eat any kind of wine or any seafood. Anything that's not Maccas or freaking Carl's Jr. or whatever. See this here? They're starting to open up. There's another big fella there. He's opened up. He's ready to rock and roll some of these, eh? We're all getting a bit of fog on the lens. Yeah, it's all good. This is what this is what it's about, eh? You see here, they're all just starting to open up. We don't want to let them boil too long, otherwise they get like freaking rubber boots made, eh? And ones that don't open, I don't eat them, eh, in case there's something wrong with them. See, they're popping open here. It's like popcorn, actually. Okay, we're just going to turn the gas off. Yes, the story. Yeah, we're really get it played, eh? Got my old tinny here, one I take up in the bush. One of these 
Sing. Good food around, eh? People just want to get off their tittle tittles, which means backside, pretty much. Um, and go out and get it, eh? You know, there's fishing down the river mouth and all this sort of carry on. I was thinking about going fishing today. I'm sure about that, Polly, because there we could have a bit of sand in there, mate. You do get some that don't spit their sand. But uh, look at this, mate. Look at this for a feed, eh? So much stuff around here, mate. It's not funny. Yeah, naturally they're going to be quite hot. But this is the shellfish inside, eh? This is what he looks like inside. Good feed. A good feed, man. Should let them cool down a bit, eh? Mmm, they are. They're beautiful, mate. Yeah, look at this. Mm. These little eyes, these little eyes there, there's one there and there's one there, absolutely yummy. Mm. Good, I'm going to eat these now, I'm going to enjoy them all too, spot you.